Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? How are we doing today? Ah, it's a beautiful, what is it for you guys? Friday night, Saturday morning for me. Um, It's been all miserable and rainy all week for me, though. So it's not exactly a beautiful morning. <laughs> hopefully, it, uh, hopefully it clears up, though. The moths, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, um, um, so I've been talking about this for a little while, but I'm redoing my overlays soon. They're about, I've got most of it planned out, but I just need to actually get in and do it. And after I finish the logic video, I will be, I'll spend a couple of weeks just, just working on that. It'll, I'll be, it'll be dedicated time for that. Um, and, yeah, so that's, uh, I, I wasn't going to announce this publicly, but yes, there will be a, uh, a fan critter there as well that will show up. Two versions, in fact, two versions. A serious version and like a cutesy version. Um, and it's called The Moths. Um, what, what was my old one called? I had one when I had a different model. What were they called again? Mouth breathers, that's it. They were mouth breathers. <laughs> that was great. That was funny. The mouth breathers. Do I still have them around somewhere? Hang on. You guys need to see the mouth breathers. Oh, they were funny as. Art, once again, done by my friend Bar. She does, she does, she does fantastic stuff. Here. Here we go. Here, the mouth breather. Let's have this guy. Let's have this guy on the TV for today. Memories. Um, new lore in the next update? In the next Termina update? Absolutely, yeah. There's going to be a whole bunch of lore. Um, there's also a not cute version, the Mega Mouth Breather. Also done by my friend Bar. <laughs> uh, that was for my anniversary. I think I didn't have this done. Uh, that was funny. Anyway, he can... You can go back into the annals of history, that one. Um, how we doing, guys? How we doing? How we doing, S? How we doing, Robo Wolf? How we doing, Vitality? What is your appointment in? That's what some time. Awesome, yeah, fantastic. Hello, Flan Pack. How we doing? Hello, Fur Furge. Hello, Arsnix. Hello, El Degusto. Hello, Von. Hello, Shay. Hello, Abhorrent Harkana. Thanks for coming in. First time catching stream. Well, I hope this is a good stream for you. Hello. Wait, what was I up to? Hello, ICPK. How are we doing? Hello, Bile. Hello, Blue Blue. Hello, Heathan. Did everybody so far? Hello, OK Lord. Hello, Scarlet. Good to see you again. Hello, our Russian friend. What's What happened in PMGT from the start to this point? What did my baby boy Flock do? Oh, it's been a mess. Um... Sheldon, oh, well, well, if if you're underage, you can expect to not be here for much longer, to be honest. So, um, um, I can't wait to pocket these mirrors. <laughs> 
Um, what happened? What happened in Pokemira up to this point? Um, so the main character, whose name we don't know, woke up in a strange castle and has basically been messed around with by how many other girls at this point? We had the one with the doll, whose name I've forgotten. We had the one with the mirrors, whose name I've forgotten. Um, we had the psychopath one, whose name I've also forgotten. And now we have one other girl who also, I don't know her name. <laughs> I don't remember any of their names. <laughs> Arson, triple homicide, and much more. Yeah, yeah. We've killed a lot of people. Come back when you're 18. I remember doing that in a few Amino communities that were corrupted. Yeah, look, it's, um, I don't think a lot of the, the content we play here. And, you know, co I cover is, is appropriate for people who are underage, so. Um, look, right, realistically, if there is somebody who's underage here and they're behaving and they don't say their age, I, I can't. I'm not checking IDs, right? Um, but so at, at some point, you just sort of have to trust people that they're not going to, they, they're going to pick things that are appropriate for them. But if, if you straight up say that you're underage, then it's, I'm sorry, it's over. I'm sorry. <laughs> And, that's, and you know, like, I'm not sweating bullets about it, right? Because you can see 10 times worse stuff on, on Twitter, like, even easier, right? And on YouTube. But still. This is my little slice of the internet. And I make the rules. And I rule it with an iron fist. It's heavily appreciated on my behalf that a lot of people are age-gating content like this are properly. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just, I think it is too, way too easy. You know, it is a bit, you know, it is a bit uh, Sisyphean, isn't it? Um, because it is just so easy to see inappropriate content when you're underage online. Um, and you don't realize it's inappropriate until you're like much older. Then you're like, oh, I shouldn't have looked that shit up when I was, you know, when I was underage. That wasn't, that wasn't very good. You know, that sort of fucked me up a bit. <laughs> but when you are underage, it's like, yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. I really want to see that. It's like, no, no bro, you don't. Trust me. Trust me on this one. Just trust me on this one. <laughs> check IDs. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody, everybody, in order to check your ID, what I need you to do is I need you to um, go to my Twitter DMs and I need you to send a picture of your credit card, the front and the back, please. And through that, I'll use my advanced methods to buy bars of silver. I mean, check your IDs. So. <laughs> no, Jack, I have some traumatic stuff online because age gate is Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right. You know. Twitter's wild with it. Twitter is, is pretty bad in general. <laughs> Rule of Rose kind of situation. I don't know much about that game. People have always said that it's like one of those, it's one of those cult classic kind of games, right? But I've never really like looked into it. It's like, it's got girls in an orphanage or something, right? And it was banned in Germany. That's sort of all I know about it. Can you even, can you even still like get it on Steam and stuff? Because it's kind of old now, isn't it? Let's see. Rule of Rose. No, it doesn't look like it's on Steam, at least in Australia. Although Australia did was pretty ban happy for a while there too. And there's games from that period that would be fine now, but they're still banned. Like um I think Manhunt. I don't even know if Manhunt is still you can you can actually you're actually allowed to buy Manhunt anymore. What was banned in Germany? Rule of Rose. I don't remember why. 2011 was basically defined by young people getting access to things they shouldn't. Creepy pass is a proof of that. That's actually that's pretty true, isn't it? <laughs> That's pretty true. Yeah, people um, people trying to process all this horrible stuff they're seeing online. You're going to unban Shadon Lee when they turn 18? I don't even know how old they are. And, uh, and anyone that's... And anyone... I don't really care. Hotline 2... Hotline Manu 2 is banned in Australia. Oh, yeah. I wonder if I can buy it on, on Steam. Hotline Miami 2. Oh, I hope I can spell it right. Hotline Miami. Two. Okay, I guess I unbanned it because I can get it now. Unless Dean just doesn't give a fuck. Wait, actually, can I? And that's Payday 2, Hotline Miami. What the fuck? Hotline Miami 2. Can I, actually, can I actually not get it? Hang on. Hmm. 
Wait, is, I, don't, I don't think I can get it. What the fuck? <laughs> um, wow, okay, so is it still banned in Australia? What the fuck? Hotline Miami. Yeah, I, oh shit, I can't. I actually can't get Hotline Miami 2 in Australia right now. Wow. That's kind of fucked. Yeah, yeah. Because there's, there's, like, there's never any reason to actually go back and undo these bans, right? Because nobody gives a shit. You know, it's, it was, like, what, like 10 years ago at this point? And nobody actually cares. But it, yeah, it, it was super arbitrary. But then it's just not worth the time to go back and undo it. If Germany bans it, how can it be good? It's a good point, yeah. yeah you know, I, I trust Germany. I, I trust Germany and their, um, you know, their, their morals and ethics have been in, in unimpeachable over the years, so... Um, her manhunt was intense. I heard it was pretty intense too, but obviously I never played it. So <laughs> I don't think I even owned the console it was on, so I don't think I had a chance anyway. What was it on? Manhunt game. Was it the first one or the second one that got banned? 2003? Oh, yeah, I don't think I was playing that anyway. <laughs> That's older than I thought. What the fuck? That's almost, that's 21 years old? What the hell? That's crazy. Oh, hang on. Oh. Yeah, it is on Steam, but yeah, it, it's still banned in Australia. Wow, okay. <laughs> that's crazy. Um. <laughs> Certainly got me allows a movie where a man t kills two children on the screen, but bans a game about a man killing criminals. Yeah, it's it's dumb. They get the you know we um we had some real moral panics for a while there, and you know it was the same thing about in America where they just didn't people just didn't understand video games. Um, and the only reason they stopped banning video games was because they started retiring, basically. So. <laughs> It's really lucky that I'm glad to get a physical copy before it spikes in value. Oh, that'd be cool, yeah. It's just bad when I join, I finally hear, I trust Germany. What other miss? <laughs> we trust Germany here. We, we stand Germany. We stand Germany, so. Manhunt 2 is interesting because the original uncensored PC version was lost media until two years ago. Wow, that's pretty cool. Manhunt is a cool concept, though, like a, one of those killer game shows like uh, like Demolition Man or something like that. Wait, was it? Was it hang on, was it Demolition Man? No, 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 it wasn't Demolition Man. It was Marathon Man. Demolition Man was still pretty sick, though. Push me granted to clip and slightly edit funny moments happen on stream. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, go go right ahead. Um, in fact, during my BRB screen, um, here, I'll just mute it. You can see down the bottom there? Don't forget to clip. A clipped VTuber is a successful VTuber. Their future is in your hands. <laughs> Um, oh, hang on, I need to unmute that, don't I? There we go. So I don't forget when I actually do go BNB. <laughs> the reason I was asking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine with uh, you guys doing whatever you want. Um, Demolition Man was brilliant. Yeah, it was a fun movie. I haven't watched it in a while, though. It was like the most 90s movie that was ever existed. <laughs> Man, that sounds like the deck show, but in prison. What's the deck show? It's like, um, it's like Manhunt is like Minecraft Manhunt, but on, in, on, on PlayStation and, and made by, um, Rockstar. Buy VTuber War Bonds today. <laughs> Duke, every yeah, buy Duke moments. <laughs> I'm going to curse you, bro. Watch out tomorrow. It's on site. What? What's on site? Greetings, friend. What's your boggle? What is a boggle? Boggle, Dexter. Dexter show, but in, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you're right. I, I remember seeing the trailer, and he like, yeah, he like, he like chokes people out and cuts them up and stuff like that, doesn't he? And inside your house, uh oh. Probably use a VPN to bypass this Aussie censorship. Oh yeah, like it's actually it's actually super easy to get around censorship these days. And considering it's like only like two games that matter that have been like banned, like it doesn't it honestly doesn't matter. So. Um, and these days, they just don't ban more stuff these days, so it's it's really not an issue anymore. Um, 
but yeah, when, when it was, it was it was easy to pirate that stuff anyway. You know, torrents and what have you. Not that I'm not that I'm in my official capacity as a public figure recommending that. I'm simply stating what is what is merely possible. <laughs> Ready to guess a kangaroo in a fist fight? Um, probably. Some of them are kind of jacked, but not all of them. So. Red dot. Ah, get down. <laughs> <sighs> yes, yes, what are we talking about? Oh, oh, right, 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 right. Yes, there was something else I wanted to talk about on the store, on the Steam store. Um, and this should probably get uh, get banned, but... Um, so you know the game Yik, right? Yik, a postmodern RPG. Um... Well, it's getting, uh, you know how some games get like a, uh, a big 2.0 patch or a big DLC that completely overhauls the game? Like, uh, No Man's Sky did and, um, what's the other one? Cyberpunk did with the DLC and how Starfield is going to get, hopefully, if they, if, if Bethesda is smart, that's what Starfield's going to get. Um, Yik is getting that, by the way. Yik is is getting getting one of those, and it's called Yik IV is what it's called. Now it's not out yet, but there is a demo of the overhaul coming out soon in twelve days. So you guys, you guys should definitely go go check that out. I cannot believe we live in a world where Yik is getting an overhaul patch. This is just insane. It's fucking crazy. I actually can't believe this. I kind of want to play Yik before it before it gets patched. But it's also thirty dollars, <laughs> and I don't know if I can justify spending thirty dollars on Yik. <laughs> Starfield's patch will be putting a bullet through your computer. Look, I actually don't know if Bethesda can do so. So the reason I, I'm not entirely convinced that. Starfield will get an overhaul patch is because I don't know if Bethesda can actually do it. I don't actually know if they can do it because I don't know if they have the talent at their studio to do it anymore. Well, actually, not that they don't have the talent at the studio. There are talented people that work there, but I don't know if the directors are self-aware enough to be able to do it. So... Axe Studios are gaming underdog at this point. <laughs> This is waiting on their fans to do it for them, maybe. But people are like dropping out and saying they're not gonna mod it, so you know. <sighs> Vanity might also be a factor. It might be. You know, it's it's hard to know without actually getting in and talking to them, but yeah, it honestly it does seem so because I've said stuff like, you know. They don't listen to feedback and, you know, they don't have game design documents and what have you. And it's like, man, what are you guys doing, man? What's Yik? Do anything I know is like a JRPG? Like, it's uh, it's quirky core, like Undertale, except good. So, this is that they still can't code ladders. Didn't they add ladders to Starfield, though? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not actually playing it because I, I, I have beaten the curse. I've beaten the curse since um, Fallout 4. But Fallout 4 was so disappointing and so soul-crushing that I haven't even finished it. I haven't gotten any ending in it. Um, the furthest I've gotten is I I built the thing to reach the Institute and then I just didn't go into the Institute. I was like, I'm not, I can't do it anymore. Um, and after that, I'm like, I'm not, I'm, I cannot buy any more of their games. I just, I just can't do it. And I didn't touch 76. Although that, that was easy. That was easy to not touch that one. Um, and I, I'm, not, I'm not buying Starfield. Um, and uh, <laughs> Skyrim 2 is probably going to be a steaming pile of dog shit, to be honest, to be perfectly honest. So the thing with, with Skyrim 2 is it's either going to be worse than Starfield in, in which case it's going to be hilariously bad 
it's going to be the room of video games, right? Um, or they're going to realize their mistakes and actually and accidentally make a good game. So, so either way, we win with Skyrim too. So, oh. banish him to the deepest parts of the basement. What happened? Fort New, Fort New Vegas is one of the greatest games of all time, and I mean that unironically. Yik is the epitome of every JRPG. Yik is the first game ever. Undertale is Yik-like. Yeah, yeah, it is. You're right. It's not to say that Yik is better than Undertale. Well, yeah, it, it is. It is, so. Stuff is the epitome of fail, then uh, all they have to do is make a game. Make the game Black Hole Cavern. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Just did the exact, yeah. Honestly, if they just did the opposite of what they did for Starfield, they would probably make a pretty good game, so. Might check it out because I played both Undertale and Delta. <laughs> I'm, look, I look, look, I like, I like a good bit. I like a good bit, right? But I, I can't in good consciousness accidentally trick someone into playing Yik. Please don't buy Yik. Um, play Deltarune. I haven't, I, I played the start of uh, like chapter one, I guess it was, but I never, I never got very far in it. Um, I wasn't that interested. The visuals reminded me a lot of that uh, that rhythm game with the frog. You know the one. Let's keep updating Skyrim and the code change. You keep breaking everyone's mods. That's the dumbest thing ever. I think we finished Fallout 4 story. Just got so damn bored of the gameplay loop. Yeah, the gameplay loop is pretty bad. I liked the DLC. Like, I liked Nuka World and I liked... Um, the other one was better. They weren't amazing, but the thing with DLC is it's it's much easier to make a DLC that's better than the base game, even accidentally. Um, especially when the when the project leads fuck off. Because the project leads are the reason that Bethesda's games are so dog shit. Um and when the and when the leads fuck off and let somebody else take the reins to experiment a bit, they, they often get pretty good, so. Bethesda accidentally coding a good game sounds more possible than them doing it on purpose. Yeah, it does. You played Metal Gear Solid? Yes. I played all of them, all the stories, um, except I played them all in a row. I had the Master Collection for a bit on PlayStation 3. Um, and then I got halfway through uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 and I was like, I'm sort of, I played them in a row and I'm like, I'm kind of over it. And this one isn't very good. So I literally just watched it on YouTube to get the story. Um and then that was that was leading up to Metal Gear Solid Five, and uh, I was, it was Metal Gear Solid Five was alright. Ground Zeroes was better than the full game, so I think New Elder Scrolls or actually Skyrim Two, it's the same thing. Um, Elder Scrolls Six will be Skyrim Two, so please buy you gonna be funny. <laughs> <laughs> My dear, how comforting it is to, to hear you say that. I, I say lots of comforting things here, like um, like you guys should buy me silver. So You can't kill essential NPCs in Starfield despite your ability to piece out to alternative timeline. That is a really odd choice to make, isn't it? Yik turning a crossover win. Oh, we should we should add both of them and say, you know, you guys, you know, Yik is the Yik is the Undertale of Fear and Hunger likes, and Fear and Hunger is the Yik of Undertale likes, so they should definitely do a crossover. Literally the whole bot log of Fungus server is age-related bands. <laughs> Fear and Hunger 3 a postmodern crawl. Oh no. Uh, you hype for the new Hideo Kojima game? Look, okay, so look, I I have a hot take. I I I have an apparently hot take here. Um so it's it's Hideo Kojima and uh what's his name? What's his name? He did Nope and Us. Nope movie. Uh Jordan Peele, right? Jordan Peele. So <clears throat> Jordan Peele and Kojima, right? Everything I've seen of them is either 10 out of 10 or 0 out of 10. There is no in-between for these people, right? 
So the movie they're making, to, is, is it a movie or a game they're making together? I don't remember. Um, whatever they're making together, it's either going to be amazing or it's going to be utter irredeemable dog shit. And there will not be an in-between. There just simply won't be. Um, so, and apparently that's a hot take. Because, you know, people, people seem to forget how crushingly disappointing Metal Gear Solid 5 and 4 were. You know? So. Like, when he, when, he, when he hits it, he hits it out of the park, right? But he doesn't always hit it. He misses a lot, and people forget that. Well, not a lot, but he can miss, right? We get some fires we don't talk about. Yeah, people forget that. Like, that was so disappointing, and it's still bad. Like, there's really good parts in it, but the bulk of it is really bad. I don't know, how, I don't know why people have completely forgotten that. Death Stranding and trailer for DS2. I never bothered with Death Stranding. It seemed like a bit of a meme. People said it's actually really fun, despite literally being a walking simulator, but um, I don't know. I never bothered with it, so do them, but he still did them. That's the thing, right? His name's still on it. Hey, Minnow Madness, how you doing? Jimmy's the best. He makes the hottest male characters. <laughs> Wasn't Five like half non-Kojima? I actually don't know. <sighs> Wait, I think... Four was. I think he was getting death threats, so he started working on it again. Was it was that four? No, Death Stranding too. I just kept a snake and go on missions shirtless in Metal Gear Solid 5 yesterday. It's me questioning everything. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 5 was just I think I think the, the game is um I think the best the best uh, sort of description of that game is wasted potential. So I think Bethesda and Microsoft will get desperate and just remake New Vegas. I will, I don't want them to touch it. I don't want them to touch it, to be honest. Did you know that Obsidian offered Bethesda to do another, like more spin-off games while they were working on other stuff? They were like, hey, we want to work with you and make more spin-off games. And Bethesda said no. And the only reason I can think of for them to do that is because they were still seething about New Vegas. That's the only reason I can think of for that. Oh, I ate too much meat because it was right on the verge of going bad. <laughs> actually, speak yes, but actually, Dark Souls. Speaking of games that people didn't want to make, uh, they didn't want to make they didn't want to make Dark Souls two, and they didn't want to make Dark Souls three, <laughs> which is really funny. You can, you can really tell in Dark Souls 3, they're just over it. They are over it. And that, that actually, um, that actually comes through in the, in the, in the, in the plot of Dark Souls, Dark Souls 3. It's all about people hanging on to a world that should have died long ago. But although, to be fair, that's, that's the plot of a lot of their games. So is it the theme of a lot of their games? So. Oh. They're so offended over there. Who's offended? It's fun. Sadly, the Metal game with the least amount of gay Easter eggs. <laughs> Flight needs to evolve, doesn't it? Um, I just think they focus on the wrong things. Bethesda is really good at focusing on the wrong things. Oh, Bethesda. Yeah, they, I, I do. It does feel like they're sort of mad about New Vegas, to be honest. Obviously, I'm, I don't have an insider in the, in the company, so I don't actually know, but that's what it feels like. So. Well, that shouldn't be the post-apocalyptic 50s, hundreds of years after the apocalypse. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's Bethesda again fucking it up. Um, <laughs> once again, New Vegas, fix that up. Um, but Bethesda sees Fallout as sort of like Borderlands, but, uh, post-apocalyptic on Earth. Um, and that's not what it is. Um, and if they keep going that way, it's going to die like Borderlands did. So, because people don't actually like that stuff, so. Mouse chatbox is lag behind YouTube's real chatbox, is it? Oh, it is, isn't it? A little bit. No? You're rusing me here, you're rusing me. 
Um, you Vegas is a real Fallout 3? Absolutely, yeah. I think I think if you just say Fallout ended there and everything else is fan fiction, you can be pretty happy with that, so. Guess uh, that might be why I felt something was missing in DS3. Hard to enjoy something when the devs didn't want to make it to begin with. Yeah, that, that's honestly what it felt like. They were just sort of over Dark Souls and they wanted to work on other stuff. Um, when they're allowed to. So they're actually a really experimental company from soft, you know, like we had Demon Souls, then Dark Souls, then Bloodborne, like, holy shit, and then Sekiro, and then Elden Ring, and it's like, oh my god, whatever you're giving these devs, keep giving it to them, like, like, come on, this is insane, this is one of, like, the best, like, the best run of five new IPs ever in a row, like, how does that even happen, it's just insane, and Armored Core. Oh, Armored Core. Wait, when did Armored Core? I never really paid much attention to that, so I don't know the dates of when that came out. But the new Armored Core was sick as well. But I, it, that, that does feel like that was a side, definitely a side project for the team. Um, but yeah, but yeah, that was that was a sick game too. It's funny as Demon's Souls wasn't meant to be their smash hit. Yeah, it's funny how that works out. <laughs> like Dead Space? I, uh, I remember playing it. It's been so long. I do remember enjoying it. I didn't play the remake though. I, don't, I, don't, I usually don't play remakes if I can help it, so. FromSoft does their best work when the publishers let go of the reins and let them create, yeah. And they've, they've finally earned it. They've, they've, they've really earned it now, so they they were able just to smash out the hits, so. Yeah, Kingsfield too. Yeah, that was before um, Demon Souls too, wasn't it? Favorite kind of demon? Um, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um... The fat official is my favorite kind of demon. Shadow of the Erd Tree is going to be fucking amazing. You can guarantee it. They haven't had bad DLC. The only the only DLC that came close to being bad was Painted World of Ariamis, and that's only because it was too short. It was it was criminally short, but it was still good. All of the all of FromSoft's other DLC have been amazing. Like, the DLC for Dark Souls 2 completely redeemed the game. Completely redeemed the game. And I, I personally I didn't think it was that bad to begin with, but that DLC was that might actually be my favorite um Souls series DLC in um Dark Souls 2. Um Frozen Elium Lois. What, what was that? I don't even remember what that was called. Um, but that DLC was cool, but Frozen Elium Lois was, was amazing, amazing DLC, so. What kind of demon again? The Fat Official. Um. Hang on, was it, was it, was it Fat Official? Yeah, yeah, Fat Official, from Demon Souls. Not the remake. <laughs> Maybe in the future you can play DS2. I wouldn't mind at some point going back and playing through the Souls games, but I just like, I just really enjoy playing through all these, these horror games. So, um, all these indie stuff. Maybe, I don't know, there's just so many games I want to play on stream, to be honest. So, pretend to play Castlevanias on stream. I can pretend to play them. Will I actually play them? Probably not. I have to be really picky with the long games I, I pick. Um, because it takes me months and months and months to finish them because I'm so slow, so. Feels like DS2 was the most hated, but as of the last year, community has 180 and come around to liking it a lot. So, um, no, no, the fat official, guys, the fat official here. So, you know, people say the, it's the old meme, the Sonic cycle, right? Oh, what's this? Hey, 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 Pablo, thank you so much. Why does it say you gifted zero memberships? What? Oh, uh, why is the alerts breaking? Thank you very much, Pablo. I really appreciate it. <laughs> um, I 
Yeah, so there was the Sonic cycle, right? Where people, the game would come out, people would hate it, and then by the time the next game came out, people would start to like the old one, and then everybody would hate the new one. But people called that the Sonic cycle, but it wasn't. It wasn't the Sonic cycle. It was, um... Yeah. The fat official from Demon Souls. This guy. Great demon. Um... That's the cycle with everything. That's the cycle with everything. Um, people who hate something will get bored with it and move on to the next thing, right? People who like something are happy to talk about it for a lot longer. That's also why Steam reviews will generally, over time, get better. Because the people who don't like it have already done. They're, they're already gone, right? But the people who like it stick around and they'll keep reviewing They'll review it a bit later and, and people will hear about it later. And... Even if the bad reviews, if the bad reviews don't turn them off, then they're still more likely to enjoy it, right? So it's much easier for people to th find things they enjoy after it's been out for a while. So, um, so that's why I think it is happening with with Dark Souls was that it was very controversial, and I think that the same amount of people dislike it. It's just that more people have been able to find it and, and enjoy it now. And there's only so much to say when you dislike a game, right? It's shit. Okay. Cool. What else? Like, what else? <laughs> like, but when you enjoy something, it's a lot easier to talk about it for more, isn't it? So, so um, that, that's what I think happened. And you, you see that with everything. So, When DS2 came out, there was nothing but positives I heard about it. Then when DS3 came out, people turned and shit all over DS2 so I don't get why. I, I remember DS2 was very controversial among its whole lifespan um and i think i may be misremembering because everybody says this but i'm pretty sure that scholar of the first sin fixed all the enemy placements and everyone's like no no it broke them and i remember people bitching relentlessly about the enemy placements when it first came out so i don't i need to go back and replay both versions if i'm pretty sure you can still play the original version with the original enemy placements uh, so I might I might just be misremembering it. Silent Hill Two was originally ahead of the point of release. Yeah, like it it happens a lot, doesn't it? Do, do, do. And Dark Souls Three Evangelist. Like I think I think Dark Souls Three is a is a solid game, but it just feels like there isn't any. Well, not no passion, right? It's still it's still got more passion than the vast majority of AAA games, right? Like. Like stacking Dark Souls three up to most other games, it still comes out on top, right? Like, like let's let's be real. Let's let's keep in perspective here, right? But compared to the other games, it feels like it's miss, missing passion compared to the other ones. Like when you compare, especially when you compare it to like Bloodborne, Sekiro, Elden Ring, it's like no shot, no shot. They were they were over it. They're they're very talented developers and they're very professional, but they didn't want to work on it. They wanted to work on other stuff. And that, that comes through, I feel. It is, it's still a very good game. I still really enjoyed it. Uh, but, um, yeah, I, I just think that they they didn't put 100% of their effort in. They merely put 90%. So, <laughs> which is still just still 100 times better than most AAA developers. So, <laughs> Hey, Mr. Cece, how you doing? Look how Arkham Asylum is getting more appreciated after the Suicide Squad game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a reminder. It can always get worse, bros. <laughs> Every single Silent Hill game, other than one, underperformed heavily. That's it's funny how that happens, right? People are like, "Oh, this game is like huge. It's super popular." It's like, no, no, no. It's popular on Twitter. That doesn't make it is a popular game. Apparently, I, this is what I heard, and I don't know if this is true, but apparently, the new um, Alan Wake game didn't make back its budget. Alan Wake new game cost to make. Let's see if we can find this. Um, oh, here we go. Yeah, okay. So the game's budget was 70 million euros. Um, hang on, let me see. Thank you, Reddit. Please help me. Uh... Uh, 
to... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Times 50. Well, okay, so... Alan Wake 2 sold 1.2 million copies for 50 bucks each, right? It means they made about $60 million before the, sh the shops take their cut. So at the very least, they lose a third of that. So it made $40 million profit, right? Well, they, they, they got $40 million in their pocket and the game cost them $70 million. So yeah, they got like half their money back. And this game was like going gangbusters on Twitter. Everybody loved it. And it's like, the bros, it, you know, success on Twitter isn't success, right? But you're popular on Twitter can be an insult. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great one. Oh, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. Bet you're popular on Twitter. Oh, uh, it's a great insult when you can just, you can, you can tell there's like five different layers to it. <laughs> but the people who are popular on Twitter would get upset from having that said to them. <laughs> oh, 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 fuck me. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Oh, what was I, what was I saying? I hate Twitter so much. Yeah, bros. Ugh. Did the guys make Alan make make control? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I never, I never pay much attention to a lot of those AAA games. They all look the same. Um, not Alan Wake. Alan Wake did look interesting because it looked kind of, uh, kind of cool. Um, you know, gothic horror style, but um, like control, like. Triple A games, my eyes just glaze over when I see them. It's like, I don't care. I just don't care. Do you have a coping mode? I should have a coping mode, shouldn't I? Do -do 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 coping mode. <sighs> Made by Remedy. Oh, there you go. Control and Wake is in company. There you go. Well, well, we're not getting Alan Wake 3 then, that's for sure. <laughs> it's over. Oh well, bros. That's that is what it is, right? I'm sure that happens a lot. Everybody wants to be from soft, but uh, to be from soft, you need from software talent. So, um. And it's not just, you know, with FromSoft, you know, it's not just uh, Miyazaki at the top, right? He is incredibly talented, Miyazaki, right? Undeniably talented. Um, but even if you have a great person in charge, um, you need, you need, you know, talented artists, you need talented designers, talented programmers, you need, you need other talent too. Whoever is in charge of hiring at FromSoft should get a fucking award. <laughs> whoever hired Miyazaki and hired the rest of the people needs to be fucking give them a give them a pay raise and just keep giving them pay raises because they are they are making they are responsible for the best games in the industry coming out right I love control if you like SCPs you love it hmm I do like SCPs some of my friends really like Alan Wake 2 they were doing a lot of weird stuff and at one level it was like an entire musical I do like games that are weird. The problem is, when you do games that are weird, you can't spend $70 million on it. So, <laughs> right? You just can't do that. You can't spend $70 million on a game that's weird. You can't do that. No, Miyazaki is, uh, he shares the same name as the Studio Ghibli guy. Miyazaki is the, is the head. I, I, I think he's, he's really high up in the company now, actually. Um, Miyazaki. Hidetaka Miyazaki is the 
Let's see. What's Wikipedia say? Um, he's the president of FromSoft. Oh, there you go. So he's 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 in charge of the company. <laughs> Representative director. He's the most senior executive in charge of the company. In, in that's that's a Japanese role. He started working at FromSoft twenty years ago. By the way, that is not a long that is not a long amount of time. He started he started game development. <clears throat> In 2001, he played the game Ico, which caused him to want a career change as a game designer. Miyazaki found that few game companies would employ him at age 29 with no experience working in the industry, one of the few being FromSoft. He began working there as a planner on Armored Core Last Raven in 2004, joining the game's development midway through. Um, so a 29-year-old without any experience in game development ended up becoming one of the greatest game developers ever. Although to be fair, he did, uh, what was he doing? What was he doing before that? So he got a degree in social science, getting a job as an account manager. So that's, that's a bizarre, what a bizarre career path. Can you make ASMR that helps us sleep? I don't, I, you don't want a demon whispering in your ear while you sleep, I'll tell you that much. <sighs> There's a point when they used a Finnish rock band that the devs knew in person to disrupt a magic late. No idea what was going on. <laughs> now, when I first arrived on one of your streams, I referred to myself as a curse, but now I never stated the terms of my curse. I would like to do that now. Make content and occasionally read my dumb ramblings or I'll revoke your demon license. Wow, okay. Look, I'll do my best. Um, yeah, so look, it's never too late, bros. It's never too late. Um, but uh, remember that you have to be you have to be passionate. If you if you're passionate at something, you'll make it, and you can't give up. Never give up. Never surrender. You have to be you have to be omnicidally obsessed. You have to sacrifice all on the altar of your goal. And you will make it. Have a quick sip. Should we play? Should we play some video games at some point? Never back down. Never surrender. How you doing, hi? May I rambles more than a chat member? Yeah, but but you guys like it, so it's okay. The ads. Well, we'll wait for the ads to finish then before we start playing. We have a demon whispering in my ear when I sleep. Need another one for stereo experience. <laughs> 12 months, hey, okay, how you doing? I need more, I need more badges, don't I? I, sh I should, hang on, I, need sh I should do that when I redo my stuff. Let me write that down so I don't forget. Um, You're never too late. What if you're in your deathbed? Um, Then what you can do is repent. And then it doesn't matter. It's hot in here. Uh, omnicidally? Yes, uh, omnicide. It means the death of all. Sacrifice all upon the altar of your desire. A really, really, really good example of that is the movie Whiplash. You should go watch Whiplash. If you're an artist, Whiplash is mandatory viewing. I mean that. It's mandatory viewing if you're an artist of any kind. If you do anything. In fact, if you if you want to if you want to be passionate at anything, at anything at all, even a hobby, just something doesn't matter, watch Whiplash. It's mandatory viewing. I I mean that. This with college, so I can't catch the live stream. No, that's that's fine, that's fine. Um I understand I understand uh life is busy. I'll I'll always be here. Waiting. But thank you for coming in, Arcas. I appreciate it. Can you write it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Furtis wrote it. Whiplash. Whiplash. Amazing movie. Are you rushing or are you dragging? <laughs> are you streaming or are you chatting? 
Were you streaming or were you chatting? So you do know the difference. <laughs> Yeah, it's a uh, good movie. Good movie. It's it's very interesting because I think it's the only movie I've ever seen where putting aside everything for your goals, and I do mean everything, is presented as a good thing. I've never seen another movie do that. Stuff like Whiplash kind of disheartens me, honestly speaking, because while I do have passion, often it feels like I don't manage to conjure up the energy for it. it. Makes me feel like I'm too lazy. Look, I go through that a lot. Um, the key, the thing that really helps me is, um. There are two things that really help me. The one thing that helps me the most is um, not having zero days, right? Like I, I have, I have Sundays off. Like I say I don't, I'm not working on Sundays. I just, I just don't do it. Although, I, I, although I have been lately. Um, <laughs> but if I have Sundays off, that's fine. Um, but every other day, I'm, I don't have a zero day. Um, so I always do something, even if I'm feeling really shit, right? It's like, no, no, I do something, at least one thing that day. Even if it's open up, you know, a Word document, or work on a script for 10 minutes, something. And I found that once I start working, it's much easier to keep working. So if I start working on a script, I find it really easy to get into it. And all, all of a sudden, oh, an hour's passed and I've got an hour's worth of work. On a day, I was feeling like dog shit, right? Um, of course, I'm, I'm still learning. I, I still struggle with that a lot too, though. I've, I, like... At the start of the year, like I had like a month where I basically couldn't do any work. My mind just gets gets clogged up. Um, but you know, I'm getting better with that. I find that physical fitness and eating healthy definitely helps a lot with that. Going out and getting sunshine helps so much. Helps way more than you believe. So. Do you feel like Duke shit? <laughs> Tainted Goods by Felix Colgrave. He does some amazing stuff, Felix Colgrave. Um, in, in Double King, that one part where that, that dude has a fork in his mouth and his head gets stepped on and the fork, or is it a knife, goes through his head, that stuck with me the entire time. Because um, I, I had that happen. I had, I had a straw jammed into my mouth and it left a scar on my, the roof of my mouth. Um, <laughs> go catch grass, basically, yeah. Um... But yeah, so like you can, it's hard, right? Nothing in life is easy, but um, if you want to do things, right? This is, this is something I've had to learn the hard way. If you want something done, you have to do it. You know, it sounds simple, but it's true, right? If you want something done, you have to, you have to do it. Nobody else is going to do it for you. Um, so you have to work every day to make sure the things that you want done get done. Um, and that's why, I, that's why I talk about Omnicide. It's like you have to put aside everything else to do this, you know? And I'm not even just talking about, you know, going out with friends or whatever. If you're spending too much time with friends and you're not working on stuff, you have to cut back on that. Um, if there's too much bullshit getting in the way, you have to cut back on bullshit. Like you have to focus on the one thing you want done and do it. No. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, hi. <laughs> um, And you know that's that's getting like you know that that's giving into distractions. That's uh, <laughs> says says the streamer. Um, you know, spending time not working. You know, you can say no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to work instead. But it's hard. It's 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 a muscle you need to build up, but you you can do it. Task switching is insanely underestimated hindrance, and just being able to swap your mental focus for tasks without much issue is a valuable skill. Absolutely, yeah. Being active in my exercise class close to three months now, I feel physically and emotionally better than I have in a long time. Yeah, absolutely. Like therapist now. <laughs> I try not to because I have a tendency to um, want to give advice even when I, I don't have advice to give. So I do only only I only try and do it when I um, when I'm asked. Yeah. So inspiration of Vichy, but cheers you up and motivates you. ASMR. <laughs> What's the turn of sunshine at the spotless mind? That is uh, a movie with Jim Carrey in it. I think it was pretty good. Pretty sad. 
Um, somebody mentioned um, Vitality. You said, I remember the creator of Whiplash said he found it funny that people thought the ending was meant to be a good ending. Look, okay. I have to talk about, I have to talk about media literacy for a second here. Because media literacy discourse on, on Twitter is so funny, right? Um, when people say media literacy, right? So whenever people get in an argument on Twitter, right? There's a certain sort of person that they want their opinions given to them. They don't want to form their own opinions about stuff. Um, and if somebody says that, if somebody is complaining about media literacy, right? People that people don't understand how you're supposed to understand something, right? Understand, you know, Starship Troopers, um, Hell Divers, uh, Whiplash, whatever, right? Um, what they're saying is that the creator, the creator says that it should be interpreted this way, so you need to interpret it this way. Um, you can tell anybody who says that to fuck off, um, because it's these same people that just spent like thirty years saying that. You know, death of the author means we can interpret things however we want. So you can tell them to fuck right off. Um, um, all, all they're saying is that I'm going to bully you into accepting my reading of it. If somebody's complaining about media literacy, even if you agree with them, even if you agree with that person, if they're complaining about media literacy, what they're saying is that you need to interpret it the way I do. Or you're an idiot, is what they're saying. It doesn't matter what the creator thinks. Creators can can fuck up, right? You know, like, um, like like a creator can can make something wrong. Like they can do that. It's possible. Like, <laughs> like Starship Troopers is an excellent example. It's like it's it's allegedly a movie about how how fascism is bad, right? Okay, right. But that's not in the movie. Like, <laughs> like it's it's not. Like it's just not in the movie. <laughs> Like, like I don't, I don't care what the author thinks when they don't tell that story. So, <laughs> you know, like a, a multicultural society that is very peaceful for the people inside of it. Um, there's no ideological purgings. You know, people, if they, when they fuck up, they step down from their positions peacefully. You know, they're not tyrants. Um, the bugs literally attack first. And even, even the creator admits this, the bugs actually attack first. It's not a false flag. You know? Without without this society, they would they would get killed by the bugs. That's what would happen. It's, it's not it's not fascism, and it's not a it's not a criticism of fascism. If the director thinks that, he fucked up. <laughs> so, yeah. So just just if anyone uses the word media literacy, call them a fucking retard because that's what they are. <laughs> I study literature, and I can I can. Say that I swear uh, Twitter never took literature class in school or something. No, they didn't. They didn't. It's a painting. The values of the beholder of the viewer. Look, it's okay, it's okay to um, take the viewers, the developers, developer, designer, creator, creator's intention in mind. But if the work, if it's not in the work, then it's just not in the work. So, you know, if it's like, if it's ambiguous, right, you know, like um, modern art, right? Um, often that's ambiguous, but it's often intentionally ambiguous. So, you know, it's, but I don't like one night anyway. Anyway, art, art conversations on Twitter on a brain dead place. So. Oh, like it's definitely got anti-propaganda themes in it for sure. Like it has, a, it has a some interesting themes in there, but to say it's, it's definitely a hundred percent anti-fascism when, when the, the human army is doing everything it can to survive against a foe. And if they didn't do that, they would just get wiped out. It's like, well, that's not... If that's anti-fascism, you have some pretty interesting views on fascism, right? So, <laughs> you know... <laughs> are you saying are you saying that the fascist IRO needed... Like, were, were mandatory so, that, so humanity didn't get wiped out? Is that what you're saying? Are you saying that the enemies of fascism were like mindless bugs? Is that what, is that what you were saying? Like, it's like... Um... <laughs> Mindless, mindless bugs that uh, that actively hate humanity and will rip us apart. Is that what is that what you were saying? <laughs> mm -mm. 
Well, see, the issue with Fight Club is, the issue with a lot of these things is that they have a kernel of truth in there, right? Um, so the big issue with a lot of this stuff is that there's a kernel of truth and the directors often take it, the directors and writers and what have you, often take it in a different direction than what other people with a different perspective will, like Fight Club, right? The kernel of truth is that men feel really dispossessed by society at the moment, right? And in Fight Club, the, the character's solution to that was to create the, the actual Fight Club and start, you know, start fucking stuff up. The, the writer and director's intention was to say, no, this isn't how you should deal with that. But then they didn't offer any solutions. It's like, well, you make this look really cool. You've given men a meaning and you've successfully tackled this issue. Like, why wouldn't I, why wouldn't I agree with this? If I, if I feel that men are dispossessed in society and this is a solution you offer with basically no downsides, like what? Oh no, we blew up, we blew up, we blew up Wall Street. Am I supposed to feel bad about that? Like, <laughs> that's, why, that's why a lot of these criticisms often fail. They don't understand why they're making it look cool because they don't understand the alternate view. If you don't understand why men would think this looks cool, you can't make it not look cool, right? It's like with, it's like with Barbie. Barbie and Ken, they don't understand why men would think that but Ken is cool. And they don't understand why he was so popular. And same with the Joker and same with heaps of stuff. You know, basically all the stuff that are like, uh, you know, considered based online, right? Um, like American Psycho, Taxi Driver, um, Ken, Joker. The people who make it don't understand why somebody would resonate with that character. So it can't, that, that, that's why it's not an effective criticism because they don't understand what they're criticizing. And that's the same with like, you know, Starship Troopers criticizing fascism. It doesn't understand it. So based on what? <laughs> so true. So true. Good question. And if you don't understand what you're criticizing, then it's not a criticism, is it? Like you're just, you know, what's, what are you, what are you trying to do here? You're just, you're just, you know, uh, you're just copying what you see and without criticizing it and people like that if people didn't like it they wouldn't do it they wouldn't exist so <laughs> like you know people under fascism liked fascism if they didn't like it they wouldn't have it so if you just blindly copy it without trying to criticize it and misunderstand it then it's like well what are you doing um i'll, I'll just say this one thing and then we'll move on um that's that's what that's what comes down to in a lot of po political discourse is that people don't understand the other side. They're like, these people are dumb. Why are they doing this? Like, you know, why, why do they, why do they value these certain things? It's like, like, can't, can't they, can't they understand that this is bad? And it's like, well, they don't because they don't think it's bad. They have different values and they have a different angle they're coming at. Right. You know, this thing affects them differently than it affects you. And they have different, different desires about it. You can't just call them idiots if you don't understand why they like something. So anyway, <clears throat> anyway, trying to make a jerk character and making a base character. <laughs> Demon Realm these are talking about random topic as Yeah, exactly. And yeah, the rule of cool is a big thing, right? Like in Starship Troopers, they look cool as fuck. Like, you tell me I don't want to be a cool trooper fighting bugs? It's sick. Are you joking? Of course I want to be that. <laughs> joke is cool. You know, all the base characters are cool. Why wouldn't I want to do that? People saying coping is the greatest form of flattery when the full quote is coping is the greatest form of flattery that mediocrity can pay to greatness. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter if it's bad, if it doesn't make any sense, it's cool as fuck. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Ken was cool. I don't care what he says. He's cool. Anyway. Oh, go away. Fat controller. Go away. Oh, no, Doggo can stay there. Definitely do Demon Whispers ASMR. <clears throat> oh, well, I got my new mic in. I got my new mic in. I can't set it up yet because I don't have my... <laughs> I still don't have my um, my uh, audio interface yet, so I can't actually use it. I can't plug it into my PC. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see how good the new mic is. We'll see how good it is. If it's, if it's good, we can do that. Maybe I'll do a... Um, 
Maybe I'll do a uh, a subathon for that, huh? Do they, they don't call them subathons on, on YouTube, do they? What do they call them? Um, <clears throat> memberthon? That sounds weird. Donathon? Donathon? Yeah, Donathon. That works. Ah. <clears throat> Do nothing. We can do. Yeah, we can do nothing. I'll do nothing, and you guys give me money. Ho <laughs> ho! Yes, I'm using a USB mic at the moment. I'm using a USB AT2020. And, you know, it's a solid mic, but it's dated, and it's banged around a lot. So, um, you know, these mics, they tend to die after a while, the AT2020s. Um, the last one I had as well died as well. Um, it's pretty good, you reckon? I do have like audio curves and stuff on it, but um, you'll notice a difference with the next one. You will notice a difference with the next one. Although I have heard people say that they can't really hear the difference. So I use the exact same mic and the exact same settings as my uh, my YouTube videos as well. And I've had heard people say that it does sound worse in the actual YouTube videos. So maybe it's stream compression making it sound better. <laughs> stream compression does just chew up audio. Um, that might be it. Be silly if you had silly goals. We can do silly goals. We'll think about it. I don't really think I haven't really thought about that. Okay. Let's mirror pocket mirror. This has been open the entire time, so I have an extra hour of gameplay time. Hang on, where's the where's the volume? Here. Extra hour of gameplay time in this. Learning about audio software is so tiring. It absolutely is. I don't um I don't think about it whatsoever. Oh, that's right. We're playing as Grimmy. Yeah. Okay. Will we really be able to get out of here? Angel. Yes? Are you all right? You don't look so well. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Of course she's... Of course she's not all right. You know what she's been through. What is wrong with these people? It's like, oh, are you all right? No, no, I've just been murdered, like almost been murdered like three different ways by like nightmare girls who can rip reality apart. Of course I'm not okay. <laughs> no, that's not it. I just want to tell you you don't have to do this on your own. Thank you, Angel. Let's be strong together. Yes. Okay, let's go. Which way am I going? I have to go. Oh, we got this way. Grimmy. Dot, dot, dot. I love this art. This art is so good, though. They did, they really did a good job when they when they did the the visual remake. I, I want to go back and play the original to see how much they changed it. Original's free, so maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that after this. Um, man, I I, I can't I can't get over how good Little Goody Two Shoes looks. I re I really can't, to be honest. It's it's one of the, one of the prettiest games I've ever played. Oh, here we go. Golden. Oh. <gasps> Let's go, bros. Oh, no? I thought we were going to get another story time. This is hurry. Okay. Oh, that was the code, wasn't it? Oh, I didn't even look at it. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I'm a, I'm a fucking idiot, aren't I? Mutt? Does that say dog? Golden Lugan. What is a Lugan? Translate. My translate is automatically set to German now. Golden Lugan. Golden eyes. <laughs> German is such pretty words sometimes. Is it just instant kill? Ha! <laughs> it's instant kill! Ha ha ha! Okay, let's pay attention this time. Let's pay attention, huh? <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna screenshot it. I'm not I'm not paying attention, I'm gonna screenshot it. Red. Blue. Do 
screen. Green. Yellow. Blue. Red. Ah. Come now, let's get away from here. Yes, let's. I'm sorry. Lugan means lies. Oh, does it? Why does it translate to lies then? Bible's collection? I do. I'm sorry. A little upset. Angel. What happened? I'd rather not talk about it. Alright. I'm sorry. I just want to protect you, Angel. Hope you understand. Hey, Farzan, how you doing? No, that's all right. Golden eyes, golden lies. Can I, can I ask you something? Yes, of course. Will you disappear as well? Of course not, Angel. I'm the real you. We'll always be together from now on. I'm scared you'll disappear like they did. I promise you I won't. I promise, Angel. That's not my name. That's not my name. Sticks. Uh oh. Spaghetti. -oh. She lied from the start, did she? Was she. I don't know if she's intentionally lying, to be honest. Oh! <gasps> oh, she's mad. What's that? Is that fiend again? Oh. Come, let's go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the hell? <laughs> That's so cool. Ah. Fiend looks like a portrait of a character. Yeah, it does. Wait, was that? There's nothing. No hurry. Oh, she's mad. Will we really be able to get out of here? Angel. Yes? Are you alright? You don't look so well. Sorry, I didn't mean to worry. Oh, we already had this. <clears throat> Wait, let's go from the witch's house again. Oh, it is. Hey, what am I doing here? Oh. Oh, why is she so mad? Hey, 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 Cogsmith, how you doing? Good to see you. What is that? Oh, they're lights. <laughs> this is enough. Still coughing. It's not good. Angel. Angel? What do you want? I'm going on ahead. Ninja. Is there an RPG make a horror game but with all boys? I just realized that we haven't played any with like boys in it. <laughs> like like a, ma a male main character. 
I guess that's Amori, right? Only like one of the biggest ones ever. <laughs> I'm an idiot, never mind. Ow, Oni has a male main character. Is it? I've never played that. Enroll. That's right, Enroll does have that. A path? Let's go this way. Off? Ah, oh, off, yeah. Hades. That was an alright game. Mirror, you say. So as a male player character as an alternative has changed his dialogue. Ah. The deepest secrets lies in the darkest of places, or so I would say. Unfortunately, this isn't the darkest of all places. <laughs> Nor is the deepest of all secrets. A drop of gold is a means to collect the most amazing deed. Beaming desire for a chance at happiness. Decisive gestures made seemingly fragile steps. An ephemeral golden mirage. Accompanied by the purest blinding will to live. This is a gift I give to you, Angel. That is your name, and this. This is a mirror. Oh, Tim, pretty, aren't you? How does it feel to be... to be... This is your gift for me. <laughs> Why, yes, it is. Aren't I generous? However, there is more than meets the eye when it comes to living, my dear daughter. What do you mean? <laughs> Happiness, strife, blissful tears, and tearing regret. Regardless of the form of life you are, be it human, an angel, or a questionable poet. Living, my girl, comes with an array of deep emotions and an overwhelming sense of fulfillment. Yeah, this demon dies. <laughs> hey, Saffle, say to him. Does this connect to previous events, or are you confused as I am? I'm confused, yeah. Well, the demon boys showed up a few times. Um, but we don't really know what he's doing. Aren't you curious? Curious? About what? About what it's like to strive for the thing you most desire and which you've lost. Such a shame, isn't it? There's no need to be so dramatic, Angel. Do you want it back? Your chance at happiness? There's only one way for you to regain what was once yours, and that is... He's very percolate, isn't he? Do you understand, my girl? <laughs> yeah, we're back here. This is back at the start of the game. Pretty eager, aren't you? You. Does there need to be ashamed, Angel? Here, have this. Ha! 
understand your urgency better than you may imagine. But you know, my girl. Yes, you see, see, ye, 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 hey, don't ye? <laughs> Good things tend to come to those who wait. Believe me, I've been here a long while despite my appearance. How do I get that mirror back? <laughs> Tell me. I suggest you start by shutting that mouth of yours, my dear daughter. <laughs> he stitched her mouth shut. This is pocket mirror. Where'd you go? Can I get my finger back? Yeah, the magic effect is great. Hey, doing, Ash? That fiend tricked me. I'll show him. Where am I? It's her. Where is she? In a place you can't reach yet, it seems. What do you mean? I mean what I meant, my dear Angel. Did the profile pull an all mere personality split to shake my head, avoid the consequences of Alice's bargain? I don't think it was to avoid the consequences. I think it's just because she's kind of fucked up. Be patient for now. You do want that pocket mirror, don't you? It really has the power you say it has. Let us hope it does. It doesn't. He's tricking her. Oh, if only I could attend such a fancy party. He could, though. He could literally just go there right now. To make such an expression now, dearie. I may be a bit of a bully, but I certainly don't lie. May I ask you something? Oh? Can I really... Become like her? them angel she has friends and you don't angel what a nerd if only you could attain that pocket mirror of hers is that going next to her focus on what matters my dear i know what i want there's no need for you to remind me he's tuning her up he's making her super jealous quite impertinent aren't you since there's no need for me to take my time with you May I ask you a question? Oh, my poor, poor angel. So many questions for such little time. What's in it for you? Now that is a long story. It is a long story. All I want is to help my beloved daughter attain the freedom she wishes for. What else could it be in it for me other than my dear angel's unconditional love? It's fair trade, my girl. I give you my word. You'll be as free as you attain that toy of hers. <laughs> we can't take the mirror and is using other personalities to take it for him. Oh yeah, ab that's absolutely what's happening. He's trying to make them take the mirror because that's what's protecting her. Oh. That's not good. Two little munters playing house. How charming. <laughs> yeah, 
Greed, my girl, is a double-edged sword. However, the same doesn't apply to you. I have you on my side. Now that you do. Ooh. Ominous. Do I feel like he's a trickster and that all the girls are the evil ones? They're not evil. They're all just sort of confused. They're all, they're all split personalities of um, the main girl whose name we don't know. And each one of them wants the mirror for some reason. It, it seems to be like if you take the mirror, you become the main personality, but... That's what they believe. I don't know if that's true, but that's what they believe. But he's manipulating all of them because he wants to get the mirror away from her. You may consider this a present from me, dear Angel. I have high expectations for you, my dear Angel. You finally come to me. <laughs> Angel. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, what I want to do is I want to see if we can get a dead end. We might be able to get a dead end if we go straight up instead, before we do that whole scene. No? Ah, okay, never mind. Looks like the demon is helping her. Yeah, he wants... Um, <clears throat> the demon wants to get rid of the... to take away the mirror from uh, this girl. Because the mirror is protecting her. The demon... So her mother... This is technically spoilers for this game, uh, but we we found out because we played Little Goody Two Shoes first. Um, but her mother did a deal with the demon, and then her side of the deal was that she had to give up her second-born child. Um, and this is her second-born child, but in order to protect her, she gave her a pocket mirror. Was it the demon helping her? The MC. The mirrors are weird. I think there's. She can see things through the mirrors that the demon doesn't like want her to anyway, so. She what we saw is real and we assume that the fiend gave us the illusion to give us to put us against the only ally we have? I don't think so. I think that was just the mirror showing us Angel's past. Where have you been? Oh, I was just just it's nothing. Hmm. You know, Angel. Yes? All of this was much, much easier than I thought it would be. Don't you think? What do you mean? It's about time you gave me that pocket mirror, Angel. So hand it over, will you? Angel, what do you... Give it to me! No, I don't want to. Well then. She has a scythe? She's an angel? What? Well, that... Her name is literally Angel. Okay, so that makes sense. <laughs> Seems I have to take it by force. No, 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 Oh. Uh. Press Z. <laughs> this is this looks so cool. Uh. Hey, when she gets a side, that's not fair. 
That looks so cool. One, she's a, yeah, yeah, she's a one-wing angel. Oh, I should have died to that. I want to see what the death scene is like. Well, we have that save there, so we can we can go back after this. Give me the pocket mirror. What? Now! Angel, please don't do this. It's useless to run, Missy. I'm going to take that. Oh, no. She just got deleted. Pumpkin? What are you standing there for? The show's about to start. What are you talking about? Let's not waste any more time. Follow me. Is this a bad ending? I don't think so. I don't know. Oh, okay. <gasps> we get the show. We get the show. Well, well. Look who's here. Sorry, one sec, guys.
Okay, we're back. We're back. So there's just some uh, some banging outside. Um, that was going on for a little bit. It should be fine now, but um, I may have to mute well because there's going to be like a cutscene coming up. So I may have to mute during that, but um, we should be right. We should be right. Ah. <sighs> Uh, no, we don't, we don't get deliveries out here. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the sticks, mate. We don't get... Nobody delivers out here. <laughs> we don't even get the mail out here. <clears throat> I'm, not, I'm not joking. We literally don't get mail delivered to our house. So... Okay. You certainly deliver. <laughs> thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you for the membership. Um, Coxsmith, really appreciate it. You guys spoil me. Um, okay. So let's keep... This would be a good scene. This would be a good scene. <clears throat> we love this. These cutscenes are so good. I love these cutscenes. Yo, Nonary, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Canadian dollars from Men One Airy. First time catching you live. Cheers. Live. <laughs> it's the first time catching you live. <laughs> Thank you very much, Anna. I really appreciate it. Can I get demon somebody out there either? Oh, that, that still works. That still works. The demon network's still up, but everything else. Um, okay. Okay, let's, let's watch. Let's go. You must be quite tired, poor thing. Why don't you take a seat? I should elaborate on my curves, make it sound less so quirky. Keep making content, say how it work, and grow. You deserve it. Maybe you'll outpace Mori one day. That's the dream, right? You know, it's a goal. It's a goal to outpace my, my idols. Um, we'll see how we go. I'd like to, I'd like to get, uh, sorry, I'd like to, rather than just wanting to outpace my idols, what I want to do is I want to get good enough to outpace them. That's the goal, is to get that good. The numbers are a side effect. <clears throat> Why don't you take a seat? Do you want to be Demon Dicified? <laughs> Demon Dice actually has a good design. I actually, I actually really like Demon Dice's design. And this guy is, he, he really is Demon Dice, isn't he? Why don't you take a seat? Much better. You know... Go boy so handsome? <laughs> This would be considerably more entertaining if you'd at least say something. I just... Yes, that's enough. <laughs> Actually, I have a better idea. What? Oh, God. Why does he keep doing that? Let me tell you, my little princess. That looks suits you rather well. Goodness gracious, the bonus catch ended up being more valuable than what I initially bargained for. Well then, let us begin, shall we? Speaking privileges denied. Quit your yapping. Just in case you get thirsty. Don't think you'd be able to drink anyway, you gave her tea? <laughs> we tormented by someone, I mean, you could do worse. You... Look, he's pretty bad. I, I, you can do worse. Like, you can get the Hellraisers, right? The the Cenobites. But this guy's pretty bad, too. Take a minute to appreciate the Lurkers. Exactly. The Lurkers with their with their uh, their mouth stitched shut in the audience. Thank you. We love our Lurkers here. Can you shut people's mouths like that, though? No, I can take their eyes, though. So be good. This particular tale starts with someone very special. Can you guess who it is? <laughs> That's right. You. It's a lovely, innocent child. Fooled us all. That's what you did. Nothing but a dirty little liar you are. This big family of yours sure is packed with surprises, isn't it? <laughs> that, that, like... <laughs> that sprinkle and like the little party party sound is so good. 
And could you take that as a big, shameful yes? Oh dear, I'm so sad and alone. Please, oh please, I need someone to be my friend. Never fear, Despicable Flatter is here. Yo, Mr. Cece, thank you very much. Two lucky coins, thank you. I should write a book sometime, don't you think? <laughs> Despicable Flatter, that's me. Bossy, selfish, mean, childish, greedy, needy. All good qualities, don't you think? Who could ever want a better friend than Flatter? Don't you worry, Arsenix. Hopefully you'll never find out. You really don't have a sense of humour, do you? Based on what Mao plays and what he enjoys, if Black Souls didn't have H game stuff in it, it would be a near perfect match for him. I've heard it's like got like outside of the H content, it's really, really good, but yeah, I just I just can't play it. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> so <laughs> Which does it does suck, but you know, it is what it is, right? Maybe I'll uh I don't know, maybe I'll move to America and play it sometime, I don't know. Somewhere I'll, I'll renounce my Australian citizenship, become a become a vagabond, a free spirit. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll sail out to international waters. I'll do an international water stream, and I'll play all the games I can't play now. <laughs> Victorian government. I think that's like a federal thing. Yeah, we'll do an, we'll do an international water stream. Actually, I think that. I think um, I think Australia has this this funny thing where um, if you if you do something that breaks Australian laws while you're in anywhere in the world, you can still get charged for it. I, I'm pretty sure. Um, I read I read that somewhere. I don't know. I'm, I'm not I'm not a legal expert, but that's what I heard. Can we go fishing? Absolutely, yeah. Which game had good content outside of Black Souls? I've heard. Um, uh, Frappolo's played it a lot. He likes he likes Black Souls so. Um, and, I, and I've heard from other people too that it's actually a really good game. I've had a lot of people suggest it to me and I'm like, I can't. Like, I, I literally can't play it. <laughs> I do use some of the music for it in my in my um, BRB screen though. It had good music. Although that music was actually removed. So, <laughs> Nanny State Australia? A bit, yeah. That that being said, um, the, uh, the, the content in Black Souls is pretty extreme. So, um, that might not be a Nanny State thing. That might be... Um, you know, everyone but Japan thing. So I don't know, actually. <sighs> Never heard of Black Souls, so you guys mentioned it in the first episode of the podcast. You have no idea how much I beg for Apollo to not talk about that game and, and other stuff too. What was the other one? There was another one. Another one that had H stuff in it. Um. <laughs> but before we were like... When we, were, when we were getting ready to do the podcast with uh, Super Eye Patch Wolf, I was like, okay. Okay, so Raccoon, blow your nose, right? Because he sniffs a lot. I'm like, Raccoon, blow your nose. Um, at the time it was anyway. I'm like, for Apollo, don't mention this. Bones, don't mention that. Don't, you know, I'm just going down those. Like, guys, okay. On your best behavior, okay. This is Super Eye Patch Wolf. We get this shot once. We get it once. <laughs> hey, Sorty, how you doing? So the Australian government was a Victorian government on paper, basically, yeah. <laughs> is the game that graphic? Um, yes. Well, as, as far as I'm aware, it is, yeah. Um, well, from, well, rather from the, from the descriptions I've heard of it, even if it's just text, um, I, I don't know. If, if, if it has that, that stuff actually, like, pictured in there, then I, I definitely can't play it. So I don't, I don't want to take the risk, you know. So. <clears throat> Guys, we have to pretend to be normal. Yeah, basically. <laughs> A lot of people who use for it do fear and hunger essay videos use Black Souls one and two music. It's got I've heard like I've heard this I listen to the soundtrack. It's got really good music. It's a fairy tale aesthetic, man. You can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong with a fairy tale aesthetic. To be to be perfectly honest. Just like Madoka. Awesome music. Because it's got the fairy tale influence. So <clears throat> he had a song Asaya OST in one of his videos. Mentioned Black Souls would be fine. Oh yeah, it ended up being fine. It ended up being fine, right? But um you know, you know, you know how it is. If you give people an inch, they'll take a mile. So you take away that inch too, and they'll only take an inch. 
What's it even about? Um, I don't know. People call it like the, the Dark Souls of H games. I've seen people say it is, but I don't know. I, I haven't really looked that much into it, you know, because there's no point. I'm not going to play it anyway, so. <sighs> okay. Let's keep going with uh, this, this guy. What's, I don't, do we even know his name? Did we, hang on, did we learn his name in, in Little Goody Two Shoes? Was it Aussie or was that like the bird? I don't remember. You learned his name in Little Goody Two Shoes? Uh, what, was it Aussie? Well, we'll just call him Demon Boy. We'll, we'll call him the Goat Boy for now. Flock. Aussie? He was Aussie. There you go. Yeah, he was Flock, wasn't he? He was so evil as Flock. Uh, 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 uh. Bird is Murum. Oh, that actually was his name. I thought the I thought the runes were like something untranslatable. Oh, so that actually was his name. What was the uh, what was the snake's name then? There was Murum, and there was it was like Aziel, yeah, Aziel and Ozzy. Yeah, so this is Ozzy. The bird was Murum, and then the snake was Aziel. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, let's keep playing. You really don't have a sense of humor, do you? <laughs> look, look, girl, you should be laughing right now, so. Oh, well, we can't have it all now, can we? Hmm, I think I might be forgetting something. <gasps> ah, yes, that moody ragdoll of hers. The one with the lovely hazy eye. Yes, Flutter, you're right, Flutter. You're so pretty, Flutter. Until finally. Boom! Two shameless little liars. Pink is secure to all insecurities and fears. I know girls that would literally say this. I know many girls that would literally say this. I'm a little coward who pretends to be mature. Now that's something you have all you all have in common, don't you think? <laughs> Get owned. Oh, it's mutter, not mutt. Okay, I thought it said dog, but it's, it's mother. Oh, but what's this? Hello, kitty girls. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I say this. <laughs> Whatever your problems are, more pink. Could it be something that doesn't concern Flutter in the least? I'm Flutter. I can do what I want. I'm going to take a peek anyway. Oh, what the hell? That was quite the peek she took. What's this? What could be hidden in such hateful letters? Something not worth dealing with, I'm sure. I can't believe these ugly lies. This has got to be that girl's fault. But who could be ever be responsible for such a catastrophe? The truth is often too cruel to face, isn't it? Consequently, sacrifices have always been necessary, haven't they? Lizette, Lizette, Lizette. Left all alone in a tiny oublette. No, you don't understand. I'm innocent. Such a shame no one else thought so. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please forgive for Lizette. She's just a fool. Too bad. No fools allowed. Okay, based. <laughs> I must break the mirror. Break it. Break it to pieces. Wrong again. Poor, poor Lizette. Damned to an existence of rejection and tears. There was only one thing to do with scapegoats. And that was... Punishment! <laughs> You'll be safe with me, my girl. Admirable, isn't she? I'm Harpe. I must prevent Lizette from murdering us all. Such righteousness, such elegance, 
such intelligence. But of course, all this glory must come with a price. Abandoned by brother, pressured by father, cursed by mother. I am Harpe. I mustn't give in to the cruelty of this world. A pure soul, ladies and gentlemen. Until... Oh dear, it seems I can no longer bear my fate. Bummer. It seems like something Mao would do. Maybe. It seems like there's only one thing left to do now, isn't there? <laughs> this is Mao Core, yeah. <laughs> Still feeling bad for letting Harpe shatter? Hoo hoo! <laughs> it seems she's never coming back. Aren't you expressive? You must be wondering why I'm doing this. I, I think that's a yes. Angel's honest reaction. <laughs> no reason. <laughs> I'm just here to claim what's mine, that's all. I figured I could have some fun with all these amusing reflections of yours while I'm here. I've even taken the chance to create my very own. Oh, Angel is his. Interesting. Isn't she quite the masterpiece? <laughs> I'm going to become a real girl. As if I'd ever let you. <laughs> Shut up. Let me go. Oh, Angel of mine, aren't you brave? I try to outsmart the strange boy. Stop. What did you get in exchange? Hmm? No. Humiliation in a mouthful of thorns. <laughs> well then. <laughs> he literally went womp womp, he did. It is time you come to me. Miss Little Goody Two Shoes. <laughs> I thought he had long pants on. This is an ending? Worst ending? Oh, it's a legit the end! I got the secret ending? That's another one? You guys did say I like completely fucked up everything I possibly could by accident. <laughs> this art is so nice. What the hell? I, I shouldn't be shocked that the game is beautiful, right? This and Little Goody Two Shoes are just beautiful games, but still, it's I'm still getting stunned by the art. This singer is so good. Oh yeah, this was an RPG maker. She just needs merch. 
Surely it has some by now. Surely. That's why I like fungi. You can't stumble into a secret and you had to personally seek them out. And the first step is to metaphorically bear trap in the difficulty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, that was... That was the little goody two-shoes yourself. What the hell? That was actually her, right at the end there. Extra rooms unlocked. Okay. Let's see. They put so much love into this game. Yeah, they did. New game plus unlocked. Creator's commentary. Oh, hell yeah. Definitely a passion project. Uh, let's save here. Absolutely, yeah. This this and Little Goody Two Shoes, they are just so full of love and attention. Hold your memories close to your heart. You should never let it go, do you understand? Yes, mother. Okay, so this is New Game Plus. I wonder what's... Oh, what the hell is that? That's different. Oh, I'm capping. I'm capping saves. Okay, save one. Hello, Stream Elements. Yes, thank you, Stream Elements. What is this? Oh, is this chapter select? Oh, that's a chapter select. Okay. Is it? I think. Oh, and you just go straight to the boss. Oh, that's interesting. Good night. Good night, girls. Um, okay, so how do we go back to the main menu? So what do we do with these charms then? We can like buy stuff? Extras maybe? Oh. <clears throat> what is this? Extra can cost 25. unlock endings with it oh so instead of like instead of like beating them properly you can just straight up just unlock them <laughs> it's Ozzy giving giving Elise the apple <laughs> and decided to post postpone playing Lugity Two Shoes till I reminded myself of Pocket Mirror Story yeah, I feel like it. I feel like it's definitely better to play Pocket Mirror first before Little Goody Two Shoes, because uh, a lot of stuff was sort of spoiled. But that's it's, it's literally a prequel, so it's my own fault, right? <laughs> how many how many charms did I miss? This is crazy. So what what even is this actually? What 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 even is this? <clears throat> Let's get back. Unlock this first one. Yes. Oh, what? Wrong button. Wrong button. This extra cost. What? Didn't I just buy something? Oh, here we go. Wait, <laughs> that is a pumpkin.
Goldia. Her name's Goldia? Did we find that out? I didn't find her name. Likes apple strudel, chamomile tea, colour red, puns and carousels. Dislikes dark places, fights, lies and rudeness. So true. The name Goldia is from an ancient North European origin. Golda, meaning good life. Just bored yourself? Fuck. Whatever. Hello, Mr. Pumpkin. Sure is peaceful here, isn't it? I like this place. Just me good memories. Ah, I'm sorry. Getting carried away. But you know, Mr. Pumpkin. Sure is good to be able to speak freely like this. I may not have much to say like Flutter and Egliette. For advice to give like Harpe. Or Angel's determination and confidence. You paid to be spoiled, I did. Oh well. That's fine. I don't think it's a huge deal anyway. Even Lizette's honesty. I feel like I'm able to grow at my own pace. This board in the little goody tissue soup, was it? Did she say it at the end? I I, I genuinely don't remember. <clears throat> These are all memories I want to keep close to me. And this time, I feel like I'm ready to do so. Gentle sunlight penetrates the windows, casting its warmth into the corridor. Comfy. He's so fast. What is that? Do you, can you like replay areas and just like farm charms? Because you, you need like hundreds of charms. I, know, I didn't even get like 100. Something like this. What is this? There's new charms in New Game Plus? Ah, okay. Oh, who is, th who is this? Platinum? Who the fuck is Platinum? I'm gonna stop doing this. I, yeah, am, am I spoiling the shit out of myself here? I wonder if I should look up endings. That's what, that's what I'm wondering if I should, because I, I, I legitimately don't know what I could have done differently like you guys said i got the worst endings i got i got like the worst ending right and i i got like i i fucked up each of the girls right um but i legitimately don't know what i could have done different like i don't i don't remember any sort of point where i made a serious decision that would have messed it up so i'm, I'm not actually sure what i could have done differently like at all Unless it's like New Game Plus exclusive, which sounds odd. But they could. Phone when the Goat Boy wins ending. I like that ending, yeah. She just gets owned, so. For starters, you lost all the games against Fletter. Oh, yes, I do. But what? one of them was RNG, though. That wasn't... Do I have to really just reset until I win those games? That's fucked. We ain't finishing Pocket Mirror Golden Trump today. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. What the girls? I shattered them into a million pieces. Is what I did. Is there a lot of endings? I might, I might just check how many endings there are. I'll, I'll be, I, I, I don't know how much if I want to get spoiled for the ending because I've like finished it now, right? And so I'm like not as worried about the different endings, but still, it's like if there's gonna be a big deal, like who the hell platinum was? Um, pocket mirror, golden uh, trum. Endings. Let's see. Endings. Oh, six. Oh, that's. Is that actually less than Little Goody Two Shoes? Oh, bad endings. Oh, okay. Oh, we got them. 
Okay, so we've got bad ending Porcelain. Uh, where if we lose to lose to Fletter, then she turns us into a doll. Bad ending to Blindness is when is when Harpe sends us blind, and she did that like five times. Normal ending one, Platinum. Normal ending two, Dawn. Normal ending three, Little Goody Two Shoes. Question mark ending, Witching Hour. Failure to gain any of the characters' regalia will trigger. What is a regalia? What is a what is a regalia? What is that? <laughs> did, did I not get? Is that is that what you get when you like? Is that what you get when you like save one of the girls? Is you get a regalia? And because I didn't, I know I didn't save any of them. <laughs> I didn't even know until after I did all the girls. I didn't even know that, like, I was doing it wrong. See the pocket mirror. Do they give you items or something? Yeah, wow, okay. I, I, the items have the letter on them, like a pocket mirror with the letter G. Oh, okay. I think I had one of them. I had one of them. Hang on, where's, where's my last save? We can have a look. This one. Okay, so yeah, because I've got G and I've got I, right? So we did get one. What had the I on it? Fork and knife is supposed to be golden cutlery. There's a little I engraved in the back of the fork. I got this one like super early. And you got the one the game gives for free. <laughs> Yeah, this is like in a hallway that you just you just stumble on, like at the very start. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Wow, wow, actually, um, hang on. I'll show you guys this. Um, this is what, um... Ozzy looks like during the ending. He's literally me, bros. What the hell? That's crazy. He's literally me. Look. Look. We're buddies. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. Forbidden to talk about spoilers. Um... Um, don't spoil what's in the endings, but it's okay to talk about how to get them. I think it's fine. Your eyes are fake though, right? Well, they're not fake, but it's not my eye. It's somebody else's. New channel? Yeah. Mike Wazowski. <laughs> yeah, so don't, don't say what's, else, or like, don't tell me who Platinum is. Don't tell me what's in the actual endings, but how to get them would be helpful. Um, so how do we get the regalias? I guess, I guess it depends on each girl, right? So we win all the games. We win all the games against Fletter. Um, actually, I might see if I can, like, glance over this endings. Oh, okay, so each one, each one does say how to get it. Okay, so to get normal ending one, platinum, right? In order to get this ending, you must have an incomplete regalia collection. As long as you don't have all three regalias, this ending will trigger. Okay. Normal ending to Dawn. This ending is obtained if you manage to get all the regalias, but Angel reaches the pocket mirror before Goldia. Okay. Ending three, Little Goody Two Shoes. This ending is obtained if you manage to get all the regalias and reach the pocket mirror before Angel. Okay. So. That's actually really easy to do in New Game Plus, isn't it? Because you can, like, you can do all the... Um, well, I say easy. It'll still take, take a little while. But you can skip between the, the things pretty easily. So, our pace is extremely confusing. So remember looking for God for that. Uh, okay. 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 Witching hour is extremely macro. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and secret ending four, shattered delusions. This is an ad, an, ex, an ending exclusive to Pocket Mirror Golden Charm. Okay, there's one ending they added. In order to achieve this ending, you must be playing New Game Plus, which unlocks after getting any other ending, other than the bad and dead ends. Which we, we also got them, by the way. 
You must have entered Henry's room, which can only be opened after finding three blue keys. One of the keys can... Blah, 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 blah. After you obtain all three keys, you can open a blue door in dusk. This ending can only be achieved if you only have one regalia, excluding Egliettes. Um, okay, interesting. Pocket Mirror doesn't have a true ending. Oh, okay. In the original Pocket Mirror's game files, the Dawn ending is referred to as a true end. In Golden Atram, it is no longer named as such. So I guess they're never planning on doing like a, a sequel to Pocket Mirror. That's, I guess that's why they did a prequel, right? So. Funniest playthrough this game I've seen so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, I, 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 I legitimately had no idea what was happening. Um. I didn't even, I legitimately didn't even know that I was getting the bad ends until you guys told me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, we might not do this today. Because um, I feel like this is going to be, getting these endings, it won't be hard to do these endings in a run, right? Because, you know, it's just like, oh, get get two of the things and then now that i've done it it's like it'd, it'd be easy to breeze through it um and honestly most of the time it's me just reading out the dialogue and we don't have to do that um, um so we can do that next week is we can try and get the other endings and that shouldn't be hard to do because it looks like especially in new game plus it's pretty easy to get all of the endings and like and like one save so It's a little bitty two shoes ending. That sounds cool. Uh, ba, 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 ba. The little bitty two shoes ending is supposed to rep. Oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't read that. In Golden Atram, the pair of shoes that Goldia finds in the little bitty two shoes endings. Oh, I'm not going to read that. Um, cool. You know what I want to do? You know what I might try to do? And I, I don't usually like talking about this stuff ahead of time. But since these guys are corpo, it's 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 easy to talk about. Um, I want to try and I want to try and like interview one of the people that worked on this game. I think that'd be sick. Maybe oh, they often don't want to come on stream because it's it can be kind of nerve wracking, even though the stream's only like how many people even watching? Twenty five people, but still. Um, I want to do that. I want to get on. Whoever, if there was if there was a specific creative mind behind Pocket Mirror. Like, you know, one creative director, I'd love to get them on, but uh, we'll see. I think we're sick. Lord video for Henry on YouTube called Faint. It's better to watch it after finishing the game. Yeah. This is the don't tell him chat moment of all times. <laughs> I wonder if they make another game like this. I'm pretty sure they would want to move along with something else. I, I don't know. I guess it would depend on how well Little Goody Two Shoes sold. Um, actually, is there like a music player in this? Sometimes I have like music players. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, it might be, but we haven't unlocked it. Um, <laughs> we just leave this running because this is a nice BGM. Um, hang on. Let me get my face back on one second. Here we go. Oop, too close. There we go. Um, yeah, it would depend on how well the Little Goody Two Shoes sold. Like, let's see. Let's see if we can. S um, little Goody Two Shoes sales. Um. We can, I don't think they've, they've announced the, how well it's sold, which is honestly pretty common. We usually never find out how much, how often uh, a game actually sells. Um, um, external websites have estimated 27,000 units sold. Um, so about 400k gross revenue. But of course, these are all estimates. Um, so take away a third of that. So what's that like? Uh, 250? $250,000 they made from it. Um, I feel like they probably want to want more than that. Corpos want more.
I feel like that might be on the low side. That being said, we we don't know if these numbers are accurate, right? They're, they're only, at, at the very best, they're a guess. Sorry. <laughs> um, so I think you can usually assume that it sells better than what these Steam things estimate, these external websites estimate, but especially if it's on the consoles as well. If it's on consoles, then we simply, we, we can't even guess. We, we simply can't even guess Un until they, until they literally tell us. Um, this game is, oh, I think uh, this, this game should have 10 times the players anyway, because it's so fucking good. Wait. Units sold yesterday. It sold 3,000 units yesterday? This thinks? Was there a big sale on or something? Is there? It's on 20% discount. Um, If you don't have it, if you don't have it at the moment, definitely get it now. It's on 20% discount, this is saying. That's the Little Green Two Shoes. That's the, that's the, the prequel. Um, Yes, it is. That's a big sale. Um, Yeah, so go get it if you haven't. Somehow. Um... I adore Little Goody Two Shoes. I adore it. It's such a good game. Mandatory for um, RPG Maker enthusiasts, I think. Even though, even though it's in Unity, <laughs> it's, it's not RPG Maker. <laughs> um. Well, that's is that the. Just stunningly, stunningly beautiful game. Um, I've, I've never seen a game with art that good, to be honest. To be to be quite frank, I haven't seen a game with art that good before. Um, two, uh, I should say I should specify two D art. I think. Um, some games have good aesthetics. Um, and some games have good artists, but it's very rare for a game to have both. <laughs> I'll fund Ashish's Pocket Mirror theme park if it kills me. Yeah, yeah. When I make Buku Bucks from YouTube, I'm gonna I'm gonna fund. Astral Shift to make another RPG hot maker horror. This is a love and hype for Cat Quest. What's Cat Quest? <laughs> Open world RPG set in the portion world of cats. That one. <laughs> they aren't only cooking, making a whole ass feast. They that that's actually that's true. They did. They made a whole ass feast. All you can eat, but well, no, actually, all you eat buffet is is, is like. Is, is like Skyrim and Starfield. There, where you can eat buffets. That's not good. That's not a good comparison. Um, I've had two nickels for every significant RPG maker title that's been remade in Unity. Has that happened a lot? What other games have been remade in Unity? I think they did that for Little Goody Two Shoes because they wanted to do a lot of really subtle things that that RPG maker couldn't, like the really high detailed art. Um, sorry, sorry, high resolution art. Um, lots of little moving parts that RPG Maker typically struggles with. It wouldn't have been impossible to, to make Little Goody Two Shoes in RPG Maker, but it would have been very difficult and very annoying. So they made the right choice switching over to Unity. Um, what else has Astral Shift made? So this is by a company called Astral Shift. Lisa. Oh, Lisa was made on Unity. Okay. Um, oh, they've just done... They've just done these two. Okay, that's interesting. I guess I guess Astral Shift were formed for Shift. I guess they were formed to to remake. Hmm. Okay. I have a YouTube channel. What's in their YouTube channel? I really I want to know what they're working on next. I really do. Using the right tool for the job, exactly, exactly, right. Yeah, look at Termina. Like Termina is is pushing that em that uh, engine to its absolute limits, and like that's not as half as visually technical as Little Goody Two Shoes was. Little Goody Two Shoes had heaps of moving parts, um, and RPG Maker doesn't like moving stuff. <laughs> Indie development team based in Portugal. That's interesting. Where's Portugal again? Portugal. Southern European. Oh, on the edge of Spain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. That is interesting. 
We didn't hear of anything from Portugal. I wonder what happens there. What happens in Portugal? Well, Little Goody Two Shoes and and Pocket Mirror, I guess. <laughs> I wonder what the significance of Little Goody Two Shoes because we are led and still am for myself. I didn't play play very Little Goody Two Shoes, but it wouldn't surprise if it's a title. Um. I think it's more of a, an allusion to the the fairy tale. So there is a fairy tale called Little Goody Two Shoes. Goody Two Shoes fairy tale, and we'll just we'll just let me just refresh my memory on that. Okay, the fable of Goody Two Shoes, the nickname of a poor orphan girl named Marjorie Meanwell goes through life with only one shoe. When a rich gentleman gives her a complete pair, she's so happy that she tells everybody she has two shoes. Later, Marjorie becomes a teacher and marries a rich widower. This serves as proof that her virtue has been rewarded and her wealth earned, a popular theme in children's literature. Um, <clears throat> oh, it's a short one. Oh, wait, no, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's like a bit of a long story. Screw it, let's read it, let's read it. <clears throat> In the reign of Good Queen Bess, there was an honest, industrious countryman named Meanwell, who, living under a hard landlord, was cruelly turned out of his little farm, which had enabled him to support a wife and two children, called Tommy and Marjorie. Care and misfortune soon shorten his hand. I don't feel like reading all that. <laughs> we get the gist. Um. It's an inversion of the tale because she's not virtuous. Um. It's it's similar in that she's she's poor. So Elise in the first game is poor. But she's she's not virtuous, and she has opportunities to learn virtue, but she doesn't take it. She canonically doesn't take it. Some endings she does, but in other endings she she sacrifices everything to get what she dreamed of. So leases on sale too. Oh, there you go. Do we have like uh, sales on or something? Look at two shoes accolades trailer. What's this? Oh, okay, yeah. So the game is out on Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. So we simply, we only have Steam numbers. We have estimates of Steam numbers and not other other platforms. So we, we honestly have no idea how well this game sold. Like, we can't even guess, basically. So, unless they literally tell us how well it sold, and I don't think they have yet. Hey, yes. That's about the time you disconnected. What did I miss? Uh, we finished the game. It's in a kitchen machine, they got a mind of its own and started spinning all over the place. <laughs> it's cursed, yeah. Steam springtime sales, so a lot of games are pretty cheap right now. Oh, I just have to take a look at that. Oh, this is literally just saying all like the... 10 out of 10. 84 in Metacritic. I'd, I'd bump it up to a 90, I reckon. 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 9 out of 10, yeah. Good game. How did it end? We got uh, a really bad ending. Ozzy took our soul. Um, <laughs> we got owned. <laughs> I think I got the actual worst ending you could possibly get. By accident. Um, this, is, this is how it is, you know. This is how it is. <sighs> what are they working on next? I want to know, know what they're working on next. Have they said anything on their Twitter? Let me see. Rip Bozo. <laughs> she didn't even learn her name. Astral Shift. I'm pretty sure I'm following them. I'm not following them? How am I not following them? I'm following some of the artists, that's right. Okay. Um I, that, that's why I didn't follow them because it's literally just it's literally just and them announcing sales, and I kinda don't want to see that. Like I know I've already bought it. Um but then I also want to know. 
I want to know what the next game is. What's it going to be? Hang on. Okay, so when was uh, when was Little Goody Two Shoes announced? Let's get it. Let's get an idea. Announced. When was that announced? Let's see. Does it does the wiki say? Do, do, do. Not, not, not the release date announcement. When was, when was the game announced? When was the game announced? We're happy to announce. The, no, 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 no. When did they start working on it? It's initially designed to be a short pre that game, but it progressively grew in scale during pre-production. Okay, so they started pre-production in 2019, 2020. Wow, they're working on this for like a while. Um, okay, so when did, when did, when did Pocket, why does this not link to Pocket Mirror? This is bizarre. It's bizarre when they don't like link to their, it doesn't link to, it doesn't link to Astro Shift and it doesn't link to, to Pocket Mirror. When did Pocket Mirror Golden uh, Charm come out? When did that come out? 2000... Wait, 2013? They were working on both games simultaneously? That doesn't help at all. What the hell? Golden Charm was initially announced on February 14th, 2020... <laughs> Valentine's Day. Um, slated to release in 2022. Um, it got delayed to 2023. And then Little Goody Two Shoes came out later that year. So they were working the game at the same time. That's crazy. Working on two games at once is insane. That's actually insane. I don't know how they did that. Well, I was gonna what I was gonna say was like, oh, okay, so after Golden Charm came out, we could figure out the time between that and then the time of release of of Little Goody Two Shoes to try and figure out like how long to, to wait until the next game. But no, we can't do that. Because they worked on them at the same time. I remember Pocket Mirror having told something about Little Goody Two Shoes sometime. Maybe it's just rumors. Hmm. It's not a regular amount, is it? Yeah. Uh, oh, they, they gave away physical merchandise, but I don't think they actually sell it. What the hell? Hang on. Let's pull this up. Uh, <clears throat> Goldia, pull this shit up. How cool is this? That standee looks really nice. That that was like the, I'm pretty sure that was art from the ending. That ending had beautiful art, absolutely beautiful art. Hey, no cup of chat. And you can't you can't buy this. Pocket mirror. Golden Tram Standy. Let's see if we can buy that. No, I'm not seeing it anywhere. <gasps> Do they really not have any merch? A red bubble. You're fucking kidding me. I guess these games just aren't. These games just aren't aren't as big as they deserve to be. If there's no no merch or anything like that, it's either a missed opportunity or the games just aren't selling as well as I, I expect them to. Hang on, is there a, is there a merch tab on their official website? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. No, there's no merch tab on their website either, so that's that's unfortunate. That sucks. <sighs> How much do you think this stuff goes for on eBay? Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. eBay. I oh, I don't think I've ever bought anything from eBay. <laughs> let's see. I'm just gonna punch in Pocket Mirror Golden Trum and see what comes up. 
Steam key. Okay, that's kind of pointless. Oh, and then just pocket mirrors. Okay. <laughs> Let's just try Golden Charm. Literally just a Steam key. From Poland. Okay. Yeah, it's not. It mustn't be. It mustn't be popular enough, which is a damn shame because these games are amazing. <sighs> Look, I guess. I guess it's just the genre just doesn't have like a huge reach, right? Like it's, it has a niche, but I think that niche might be limited. So, that little goody two shoes, little goody two shoes. Oh, it's just a book. Merch. No, it's just it's just a book. That makes sense actually with a name <laughs> with a name like that. <laughs> Astral Shift followed me back. Are you watching me right now, Astral Shift? Are you watching me right now? Everybody say hi to Astral Shift. They might be watching us right now. <laughs> they followed me back after I just followed them like five seconds ago. <laughs> we breathe. Oh, we do. Like, no, they, like these games are like right up my alley, but I do have to recognize like, like Fear and Hunger, right? Now, Fear and Hunger. Like amazing games, right? Nearly perfect, right? But they're niche. It's, it's, it's a simple fact, right? It's a simple fact. They're niche. So, um... So they're only ever going to be, they could be perfect games for that niche, but you know, they're only ever going to sell so much, right? Oh, that's kind of what we said about when we're talking about Alan Wake, right? It's some weird, you know, people said it was weird, experimental, sort of trippy for a AAA game. You can't do that for a AAA game when you're spending $70 million on it, <laughs> right? Right. You had to recognize, um, you know, that niches are limited. So um, that being said, right? Um, because we have no idea what the sales numbers are, and we, we, we probably never will because we simply don't find out for most games. Um, maybe they are doing extremely well, you know? Maybe it is going, doing absolutely gangbusters on, uh, on other platforms. So, you know, who knows? I hope so. I really hope so. Um, I hope this sells so well we get, like, a whole, a whole series of games set in this universe. So, um, oh, man, I'd love another one. These games are just perfect. They're perfect. They're, they're made specifically for me. Me personally. They reach into my head and then made a game for me. So yes, I want more. <laughs> when I get um when I get uh when I get YouTube famous and I get like a million views per video, I'm going to, at the end of every video, I'm going to start saying, and make sure to buy Little Goody Two Shoes and Golden Charm. So, <laughs> I'm going to say that at the end of every, every video. <laughs> what games got a bit lost? Oh, these games, uh, Pocket Mirror and Golden Charm. Fantastic games, fantastic games. So, Henry spinoff. Who's Henry? Oh, that's a brother, isn't it? That's the brother. Um, the first, the firstborn son. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? That would be interesting. Yeah. Gold, golden a trauma. Pocket mirror, golden a trauma. It's an interesting, let me, let me type that up. Pocket to mirror tilled golden a trauma. Um, and maybe we find out a bit more about Henry and the other endings. Um, but that would be interesting, wouldn't it? A Henry spinoff. Would it be enough to base a full game off of, I wonder? Hmm. Oh, 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 you know? You know what it could do, right? Hello, Burgundy Sauce. There you go, Jeff. How you doing? <laughs> um... If we know if we if what we're doing is prequels, right? Right. You could do the same thing that. Um... So this is what I think they might do for Red Dead Redemption Three as well, right? Just keep going back in time. Right. 
Um, just keep going back in time. So then the next game could be about Elisa's uh, grandma that found her. Because she did weird witch stuff, right? Or even go back further and have it be about the first witch, the Witch of the Woods. Uh, uh, Walpurgis. No, that, that wasn't what it was. It was, what was her name again? It was, um, no, it was, it was Walpurgia, wasn't it? Well, that was her name. Little goody two shoes endings. Um, ba, 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 ba. Walpurga, that was it. It was Walpurga, right. Go back a little bit further. You know, there's, there's lots of, there's, there's some interesting lore to draw on here to build a, build new games around. So I think we could definitely, um, there's really lots of room to grow there. So. We're back to Aussie's backstory now. That would be interesting. Yeah, a bit more Aussie lore. Hmm. <sighs> Talk about niche games. You ever watched a video called The Problem with Interesting Games? I haven't, but that sounds like an interesting video. <laughs> I'll have to check that out, yeah. I'm putting that on my to-do list. I like, I watch a lot of YouTube these days, so. First Thanksgiving get turkey off the menu. <laughs> Need Henry Law. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Aussie Law. Henry Law. Um, oh, oh, actually, you know what? Um, you could do, you could take a step further and go, um, I forgot, I've forgotten all their names. Uh, Rosenmarine's grandmother. Uh, Rosenmarine's grandmother. Because she had this weird story about being a follower of Walpurga as well. So we could see how she became that, right? Wait, now, can I get a Walpurga with extra cheese? <laughs> What's YouTube? Good question. I think I missed a couple of endings uh, in Little Goody Two Shoes, but they were like the good ending with Freya, the good ending with Leb Kuchin, and it's like I, I, I kind of get, it. I kind of get it. We got to the important ones. Need the lore on this game. It's pretty intense, isn't it? Yeah. Something you have to wonder about those types of games is could this type of idea go back further and further back? Is this possible to have to do a Skyward Sword and expand in universe world a lot? All the way back to the very start and explain Ozzy and his and his minions. That would be interesting. I think. I think you start coming up to the issue where some things are better left unexplained, right? If you explain too much about Ozzy, there's a real chance you could mess it up and he loses his charm. Because right now he's some sort of terrifying, playful, evil thing, right? But if you don't go back and explain his backstory, it, it might lose some of that, you know, scary mystery about it. You could, you could definitely do it right, I think. And I think these guys, Astral Shift, could probably do it right. But you would need to be so careful. You would need to be careful. Because I was, I was impressed with the writing in Little Goody Two-Shoes, to be honest. So I, I would trust them to do it. The first, oh, the first Golden Girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be interesting. The Golden Girls were so, I loved them. They were so great. What the dog doing? <laughs> Keep doing this and eventually you have enough as possible to make a story of epic proportions. Yeah, yeah. Can't fear the unknown if you've known it. <laughs> exactly. Like, you know, the fear of the unknown is a, is a bit of a freebie, right? Um, it's a bit of a freebie. So you need to replace it with something that's genuinely scary. So. Do, 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 do. Oh, the Golden Girls are really cool, weren't they? I really like them. Hmm. I've been thinking about lore in video games recently, and like you got you got like um Fury lore is really interesting. It's similar to Dark Souls, but I think it does it handles it way better, I think, personally. Um, 
an Elden Ring where they just don't answer questions. They just refuse to answer questions. Like, there's, there's some questions you just cannot answer. And I think they do that on purpose because, like, well, you know, you can make YouTube videos about it for years. And it's like, well, it, this gets tiresome at some point, so... <laughs> I don't know if you already said this, going to do the other endings on stream. Uh, yeah, so next week what we'll do is we will try and get the other endings to Pocket Mirror, Golden and Charm. They don't seem too difficult to do. We should be able to do that in a single stream. And in a single save, basically, too, so. Dream Hunger is a Dark Souls or Black Souls? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was good, though. Really enjoyed that. Fantastic games. Oh, that's what I wanted to. That's what I wanted to know. Who made, who made Pocket Mirror, the original? Yeah, but who made the original one? Pocket Mirror Classic, made by Astro Shift. Oh, Astro Shift made it. Okay, so the. A total of 19 people have been credited during the game's ending credits. Wow, okay, so... Do they just, like, work on it? Like, work on it, like, for free? I'm curious. It's, it's very rare you have massive teams like that work on games that actually come out and be good. <laughs> so I wonder who, like... That's really interesting. Or do they have... Or do, actually, do they have a patron? have a patreon okay that actually helps a lot wait actually how many people worked in the game and they get a thousand us a month that would be a drop in the bucket <laughs> what little goody two shoes another story little goody two shoes a story i need to i need to subscribe to the astral shift patreon and look at that they have like concept art and shit there i, I need to subscribe to that Yeah, many have good ideas, not necessarily the most potential like this. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it does seem odd there are big, big groups like that. I need to I need to talk to somebody and ask them what the hell the deal is. I find ourselves in between projects after the launch of both these titles. We'll be taking a break from posting monthly on here on Patreon starting... Uh, um, because Astral Shift isn't... Isn't in active production of any publicly announced titles at this moment in time, which makes us able to share behind the scenes concept or other sneak peeks until we jump back into action. This doesn't mean, however, that we'll be on hiatus as a studio. It only applies to what we'll be posting online until we're ready to share more. Okay, so they are working on something. Um, Patreon will remain available, but will not be updated in the near future. Oh, okay. As such, Patreon remain available. Not we can't wait to share more of our ideas and aspirations for future projects with you and can't be more grateful for your support thus far. Patreon was a big facilitator of Little Goody Two Shoes and Pocket Mirror Golden Trump's development and we hope it will continue for what's to come. That would, like having an active Patreon would really help with a development, like a long-term development like that for sure. For sure. Give you a hand reveal. Good question. Or well, they're posting like sprite comparisons and stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. I'm, I'm going to love going through that actually. Um, toe reveal, not even the big toe. <laughs> One day, maybe. One day. Do, do, do. That's cool. So maybe there's maybe there wasn't like one person in charge then, because it doesn't seem to be like someone like there isn't like a, a single person listed as like a lead on the wiki here. So the core team was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven people. Interesting, 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 interesting.
Hmm. A grave reveal? <laughs> A corpse reveal? Maybe they'd be like a like a game development collective. There's some people like that, like the the group that did. Um, uh, what was it called? You know, the detective game. Patreon tiers don't have much to each one. They rely on the passion of the fans. Then, um, yeah. So there are different posts that you get access to depending on what tiers you have, though. So they actually. Um, so there are some stuff there, I guess. What I wonder what tier that is though. Let's see. Angelic pumpkin tier. Wait, what? What tier is that? $32 a month for previews? I don't know about that, bros. I'm not going to lie. That's expensive. Hilarious. That one's hilarious, pumpkin. Why are these not listed here? Oh, here we go. $8 a month. Well, they use all the different tiers. They've got like a million different tiers and they use all of them for the different posts. <laughs> Look, I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not a big enough creator to be dropping thirty dollars a month, bros. I got silver bars to buy. <laughs> oh, if we give him enough money for a silver bar who do the hand reveal early, did I say that? We should do a we should do a a, um, a donathon for a silver bar one day. That'd be funny. Um, yeah, great games. Loved them to bits. We'll 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 finish it off. We'll finish off. Um, we'll finish off. I've, my, I'm dying. I'm dying at the moment. Um, <laughs> I'm dying, bros. We'll finish off the game next week. Get the last endings. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh yes. Uh, next week we'll be we will, we will be watching more analog horror. Um, we didn't this week because we were supposed to watch Lacey's games, but then I found out that there's a new episode coming out really soon. So I want to I want to leave Lacey's games until that comes out. Um, I do have some other and I'm my face is covered, isn't it? I've left this on the entire time. Um, you guys should tell me. Um, <laughs> you know, you know, I'm an, I'm an old man who who uh, who loses track of things. Um, next week we will be watching. Uh, I have a few lined up. I'll have to. I have actually have a couple that uh, gave gave permission really quickly. It usually takes a little while, but these guys were like on the ball, so. Um, Um, yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna... Sorry. Sorry, Jeff. Sorry, Jeff. I, I can't... I can't put up with that. Goodbye. Um... I'm not talking about MLP. Never. Sorry. You activated my trap card. Um... <laughs> I think I did? You did think about saying it? Oh, okay. Well, that's, all, that's the thought that counts, right? Um... Yeah. So we'll watch Unlock Horror next week and we'll get the other endings. So Sanrio character, well, that's an easy one. It's Cinema Roll, obviously. Do you even need to ask? Um but yes, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you for for playing um Pocket Mirror with me. Um and watching me get owned because I'm an idiot. Um Favorite way to torture victims now, it's by uh it's by banning them from chat. You're next, Arsenix. No. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> okay. Thank you all very much, and we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.